Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing um, receptor desensitization, specifically the desensitization of the beta-2 adrenergic receptor. So we've already seen heterologous uh, desensitization, uh, where we phosphorylated the intracellular loop of the beta-2 adrenergic receptor, as well as the early C-terminal domain, and this uncoupled the receptor from its uh, GS heterotrimeric G protein. We're now going to see homologous desensitization, and the reason it's different from heterologous desensitization is that it will only act on receptors which actually have the agonist, in this case adrenaline, bound to them. And the reason is that this beta adrenergic receptor kinase will only phosphorylate beta-2 adrenergic receptors which have the agonist bound to them. So it will add these phosphate groups onto the late carboxyl terminus uh, only if the agonist is actually bound to the beta-2 adrenergic receptor. Now, what will these phosphate groups cause? Well, they will cause the association of a new protein. A new protein will come and bind in here. So this uh, oblong here, uh, which I'll have in blue, so this rectangle, Okay, and this represents uh, beta-arrestin, a protein known as beta-arrestin. Okay, now what this protein does is it comes and associates in this sort of gap here nearby the, uh, nearby the intracellular loop. And basically it too serves to uncouple the uh, beta-2 adrenergic receptor from uh, the heterotrimeric G protein. So it's going to stop this receptor from being able to interact with the heterotrimeric GSG protein. In addition, beta-arrestin is going to do rather more than that. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to act as the uh, target protein in the clathrin-mediated endocytosis pathway. So what's going to now happen is basically an adapter protein is going to come and bind to this beta-arrestin uh, protein, and then it's going to recruit clathrin, and you're going to uh, basically um, pinch off a vesicle, an endocytic vesicle, containing your uh, beta-2 adrenergic receptor. So what's going to be happen is we're going to remove the beta-2 adrenergic receptors from our plasma membrane and put them into endocytic vesicles and they're then going to go to the endocytic pathway which we'll discuss more now. Okay, so the binding of the beta-arrestin is going to allow an adapter protein to bind, clathrin will bind to the adapter protein, you're going to pinch off um, the uh, vesicle containing your beta-2 adrenergic receptor. And this won't just happen for one beta-2 adrenergic receptor, it will happen for many at a time. So you've got this vesicle, uh, which, known as an endocytic vesicle, which has the beta-2 adrenergic um, receptor in it. Okay, so here's your endocytic vesicle. Here is the plasma membrane. Now, What's going to happen is the endocytic vesicle is going to go to a structure known as the early endosome. So let me show you the structure of the early endosome. And this is a little out of scale. The early endosome will be massive compared to the endocytic vesicle. So in reality, the endocytic vesicle will be something tiny like that. And here is the endosome, this massive, great sort of space station-like structure. Okay, so the... Um, Endo uh, the early endosome is what this is representing here. So this is the early endosome. And the early endosome is basically an intracellular organelle where endocytic vesicles coming from the plasma membrane arrive first. And this structure that I've drawn is what's known as the tubulovesicular structure. So that's how it's described. It's made up of these vesicles here connected by tubules, so a tubular vesicular, a tubulo vesicular structure, basically. Okay, now a bit of extra information. The diameter of these vesicles here is approximately one micrometer, whereas the diameter of these little tubes connecting them is 50 nanometers. Okay, so that's just a little bit of fact about the tubulo vesicular structure of the early endosome. Now, what will happen is these endocytic vesicles, which have the uh, beta-2 adrenergic receptor in them, which they've removed from the membrane, 
will come into the early endosome. And that will mean that these beta-2 adrenergic receptors, they are going to end up in the early endosome. So here is our beta-2 adrenergic receptor now in the early endosome. So what you'll do is you'll store the beta-2 adrenergic receptors in the early endosome. Okay, and this is the sequestration. So basically this is also going to help uh, desensitization because you're going to be removing the beta-2 adrenergic receptors from the plasma membrane and storing them instead in this early endosome. And I want to make sure that you understand that even though people often call endocytic vesicles endosomes, it's wrong. Endocytic vesicles are these things that you are endocytosing by a clathrin-mediated endocytosis. The endosome is actually a organelle within the cell. Okay, so it's this station, this first station which uh, endocytic vesicles come to. Now, the early endosome can function as a store for these uh, beta-2 adrenergic receptors, and later on, once the agonist has been removed, what can happen is you can bud vesicles back off from the early endosome. So here comes a vesicle that's budded off, and it will have some of the beta-2 adrenergic receptors that were stored in the early endosome within it. These then go on to a structure known as the recycling endosome. So these will fuse with the what's known as the recycling endosome. Okay, so this is called the recycling endosome. And then what will happen is uh, the uh, beta-2 adrenergic receptors will temporarily be within the recycling endosome. So here they are. Okay, and then what will finally happen is the recycling endosome will have a vesicle bud off it, which will then go and exocytose onto the plasma membrane and the beta-2 adrenergic receptor will be recycled, basically. So it came from the membrane, so it shrank a lot <laughs> when it went down there, but never mind. Okay, uh, and then it can go back. So there's a recycling process, but also there's a degradation process. So in addition, what you can have is you can have vesicles being budding off, budding off from the early endosome, which can then go to a structure known as the late endosome. Okay, so this vesicle will then fuse with the structure known as the late endosome. Okay, so now your beta-2 adrenergic receptor will be in the late endosome, so here it is. Okay, and then finally, if you really want to destroy it, it can then finally go to the, uh, the lysosome over here where uh, there is a lot of enzymes which can break the receptor down. So again, this will happen by a vesicle budding off the late endosome and then going to the lysosome. So this is what's known as the endocytic pathway. Okay, the endocytic pathway. So basically what we can do is we can remove beta-2 adrenergic receptors from uh, the plasma membrane, okay, we can sequester them in the early endosome and then recycle them back to the plasma membrane once uh, the agonist has been removed, or we can actually permanently downregulate them by sending them to the late endosome and then on to the lysosome where they'll be destroyed and that gets rid of them forever. Both of these are mechanisms of desensitization of the cell to the agonist, which in this case is adrenaline.